Here's one guy you should keep an eye on for the Detroit Lions as the offseason continues. Who am I talking about? What guy should you guys keep an eye on? Well, this is actually Ricky Jean Francois. I love saying that name. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I'm pretty sure that's how you said it, and I like saying that name. It's just, it's just fun. Ricky Jean Francois. But, anyways, you guys should keep an eye on this guy because right now, at that defensive tackle position, like my last video, I talked about some people being placed on the list, whether it's because of injuries that were in the past, or there was one player now in Chris Lacey who's actually un unable to participate. And the Detroit Lions, you could say, are kind of thin at, thin at that defensive tackle position. Guys like John Adkins was more of a role player. Um, same thing with PJ Johnson. And both of those guys are on that list. Now, they should be fine, right? Because these were past injuries. But if they're not, then you could say, okay, then maybe they're a little thin here because it's really Snacks and Aishon, and then you have kind of the depth that you just randomly brought in. But here's one guy that the Detroit Lions could actually bring in. And this is a guy that not only can play defense tackle, he can also play a little bit on the outside. And this is Ricky Jean Francois, like I said now three times. Um, but this is a really good guy to keep an eye on. Now, he's been with the Detroit Lions, so I think that makes sense to bring him in. He came into the league back in 2009. He was with the Detroit Lions in 2018, which was last season. And there's a good chance the Detroit Lions could be interested in this player. I don't think he'd take a huge contract, but he'd be nice to add some depth to the rotation. I think this is just a guy that you have to keep an eye on. Now, there are some other guys. We obviously met with Pico a while ago. I did a video on that, Domata Pico or Dometa Pico, something like that. I can't exactly remember how to say his name. But I think Ricky, Ricky John Francois makes more sense because he's been here before. He started in a 11 games last season for the Detroit Lions. He had 30 tackles. No huge numbers were put up by this guy, but it's a nice rotational slash depth type of player. So I think we should keep an eye on this player for sure. The Detroit Lions may decide to bring this guy in, maybe at least try him out, whatever it may be, as training camp continues, because maybe they'll want some more bodies for training camp. It would just make sense. And who knows if he'd even make the final roster. But with that being said, that's the one guy you guys should keep an eye on. Now, looking at some of his stats, he actually had three tackles for loss last season to go along with two quarterback hits which, again, not crazy stats, but it was solid. Now, I do want to give you guys a little announcement that I should be going live tonight with Micro Mike. I believe it's going to be on his channel. Uh, it should be on his channel around 7 o'clock. He'll probably do, like, a post to update you guys about that. Um, but hopefully everything works out. Hopefully there's no glitches. I'm going to try a few things. But I think it should work tonight, so I'm going to be on his channel live at 7. Most, like bank on that okay if you guys are looking for that that should be happening so if you guys want to join definitely check it out i thought i would just kind of give you guys a little heads up that that's going on that way you guys can be in there and not just like oh i missed it because i don't want you guys to miss it but with that being said that's one guy i think that you should keep an eye on um as offseason continues the detroit lions may decide to bring this guy in like i said there's other guys like pico who the detroit lions can be in and they may not bring in anybody but if they decide to because hey maybe they want some more bodies because some people are on some lists and maybe the injury is worse than we thought i mean pj johnson was rehabbing for a little bit you know, guys like Isaac Nauta, not really important, but he was rehabbing a lot. So with that being said, I think you should keep an eye on him. And I'm actually not even wearing my um, King of the North shirt. I don't know why, but my King of the North shirt is right over there. I did two videos with it. Um, so you guys should definitely check it out. The link is in the description and you can help out charity if you guys get that shirt. If you want to get a different shirt that just looks dope, then definitely do that. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'm out.